New moon blessings to everyone. How are you all? How are you navigating this roller coaster of energies and energetic shifts we're having? Mm. Let's dive a little bit deeper. So, first of all, we have an Aquarius new moon. Aquarius, yes. Calling out to all those weird and wacky Aquarians out there. Mm. I see you. <laughs> I feel you. <laughs> we have Pluto, who's had a big shift, huge. After 226 years, he's arrived in Aquarius and will station here for generations to come, creating rebirth, but first death. We can't be reborn until we've experienced the death and that looks like shedding, letting go, releasing ourselves. Yeah, we've got Uranus showing up and creating that bringing the consciousness to the unconscious, asking us to look, feel, and uh, really kind of take note of what's being presented to ourselves so that we can better choose a path of evolution. Uranus wants us to evolve. We also have Saturn in Pisces. Wow, and Saturn in Pisces is until June, so think... Um, Pisces, Pisarian energy is the dreamlike energy, the poet, the mystic, the artist. Yeah, Saturn is our real time 3D world, if you like, stationing here till June, which means whatever it is you're dreaming in your Pisarian type energy, whatever those dreams are between now and June, are they going to become a reality or are you going to have to shift perspective? So yeah, let's take it back to the beginning. We've uh, Aquarius, the sign of rebellion. Yes, this is a rebellious new moon, guys. So tap into your soul rebellion. Yeah, it is the sign that's like, no, this is for the greater good. This is what rising in love looks like. This is what community looks like. That's Aquarian energy, rebellious, humanitarian. Yeah, it's the sign where it together wants to rise. Yeah. And we've got Sun, Pluto, Mercury, <laughs> Moon, all stationed in Aquarius. This is a time of great awakening, certainly because it's injected and supported with that Uranian energy. This is a time where together we shift our perspective on how life looks. And we break patterns, moulds, we unblock those limiting beliefs and we we ascend. It is this time. Yeah. And so this is what this moon and this current energetic conversation is asking us to do. Yeah. We've also got the moon Mercury meeting Mars. So if you, <laughs> what fire. So if you've been feeling that energy of like frustration, I feel trapped, um, you know, showing up as a bit of an emotional outburst. That's that Mars bringing a little bit of fire to that Aquarian, like, Set me free. I want to take off. I want to fly. You know, Aquarius is uh, air like it, it wants to fly. It's a free spirited energy. They say it's air. It's more like ether. It brings <laughs> it brings that uh, alien like kind of out of this world energy. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, it is time to level up. It is time to take the higher path. Choose the non-reactive path and uh rise yeah aquarians aren't about drama and projection they are about the intellectual emotional mastery they they take a look at the situation and go uh no i want to take this path so this is the kind of energy that you're being given here to kind of navigate your way through these situations it is a time to let go of relationships patterns jobs work placements, relationships in the form of well, friendships, romantic, any relationship really, whether that be between you and a someone or you and a something, it is time to really kind of observe, is this serving your path or is this creating resistance and holding you back? It is a time Pluto is asking us to let go, die and be reborn. And that is about letting go of anything that is not conducive to walking a path that are, is our sole purpose. Yeah. 
And so when we bring in that Uranian energy, it's squaring this new moon. Um, yeah, it is bringing the conscious to the unconscious. It is asking for an awakening. You cannot unsee, unknow what you know to be true. It is asking us to step into the unknown, to dig deep, to root into our faith and into our heart and to step into the unknown, even though we don't have all the answers yet. That's what faith is. Faith is not evidence-based. It is not a strategical move. It is about leaping in faith. It is about tapping into that heart energy, into your inner knowing and stepping into the unknown. And it's in that space that you are rewarded. Yeah, that's what abundance looks like. And that's where in the togetherness we hold each other and collectively we evolve and we rise in love. We hold each other in our healing, in and in our pain, letting go of what no longer serves us and we rise in togetherness. We evolve together. So it's an amazing time to witness these shifts and patterns, as I say, with the Aquarian energy, the Pluto, Uranian energy. Wow, what a time to really step onto the conscious train, yeah? Having great outside perspectives. Pluto offering that chance to die and be reborn. Uranus offering us the lens of conscious reflection. And then we've got Saturn and Pisces uh, until June. Are you gonna make those dreams a reality? So in brief, that's the energy we've got to work with, guys. Everything is happening for you. Remember that. This is an offering for you. So choose, choose you. Choose to evolve. Choose to level up. Open your heart to abundance, trust, and surrender. Surrender into faith, into knowing, into love, and tap into your soul rebellion. Remember, rebellious moon. Yoo! See you all tomorrow for our beautiful new moon ceremony where we will be sitting with medicine, sharing our love, our vulnerability. Uh, yeah, yeah. With the beautiful medicines of cacao and mushrooms, their spirit holding us as together we heal, we hold and we rise in love. So happy new moon. And I'll see you all soon. Stay blessed, stay magical, and remember, together we heal as one. Mm -hmm.